It hardly seems possible that little more than a decade ago, the Marble Institute of America created a new annual award program to honor individuals for their achievement in the stone industry and service to the MIA. Since 2003, 10 individuals have been inducted into a very select group that composes the MIA's McGlory Award for Lifetime Achievement. The first winner was longtime MIA Technical Director Vince McGlory, for whom the award is named. Since the inaugural award, winners have been Joe Kapchek of J. Kapchek & Company, Malcolm Cohen of Miller Druck Specialty Contracting Company, Bernie Folak of Denver Marble Company, Vic Green of Vic International, Louis Carnavalli of Carnavalli & Lore, Terry O'Neill of Columbia Marble Company, Chester A. Smith of Chester A. Smith, Ron Bussey of Bussey Marble Company, and Paul Vigna of Artisan Tile and Marble Company of New Jersey. The 11th winner breaks new ground as the first international recipient. He is our well-known neighbor from south of the border in Mexico, who has served the stone industry for over 50 years, Jesus Gonzalez III of Marble World. Anyone who has ever met Jesus will agree with Bob Staswender that the 73-year-old Gonzalez is always gracious, impeccably dressed, and a gentleman. From the company's primary facility in Gomez Palacio, Mexico, Jesus IV, his son and operations manager, added this when asked about his father. He's a workaholic, as my grandfather was. My father puts up 50 hours a week at least. He's very, very active. The original genesis of Marble World is a unique story dating back to when Jesus III's grandfather died and his father wanted to build a small burial chapel to honor his memory. His father couldn't find suitable stones nor a contractor in Mexico. So he decided to, to fly to Italy and buy the equipment to cut the stones. He bought several Carrara blocks and he made the chapel for his father. So that, that was a very odd way to start, but that's the, the reason why we started in, in the marble business. When his father became ill some years later and passed away, Jesus III, who joined the firm at the age of 18, took over management of the company, which then only operated a modest shop in northern Mexico and had very little working capital. Today, it has customers worldwide for its offerings of specially crafted products like hand-carved fireplaces, hood ranges, columns, and other pieces usually made from travertine and limestone. The company also specializes in unique mosaic and other mesh-mounted products. Jesus confirmed that while the company, which has used the slogan, You Dream, We Create It, has many massive production machines, technology is not the focus of the company. We search all over Mexico for the best carvers and the, and the most skilled labor that we can find. To, to do what we call creative work. It's a work that requires, be, be, besides the skill, some kind of uh, creativity. The Gomez Palacio facility is managed by another son, Jorge, who serves as president. The most intriguing portion of the operation is the mesh-mounted products that are produced by a small army of associates and consume 1.5 million pieces of stone a day. In addition to the Gomez Palacio operation, the nearly 70-year-old company has units elsewhere in Mexico that do traditional marble and granite work, like skyscrapers, shopping centers, department stores, museums, and more. In all, Marble World is part of JG Group, headquartered in Monterrey, Mexico. Jesus IV says his father is a perfectionist and always wanted to be the best marble supplier in Mexico. His motto has always been, I will only supply a stone job if it makes me proud. And believe me, he has stood by his word for over half a century. Jesus III eventually got into stone cleaning and sealing products. Today, the far-flung Gonzales Enterprises are vertically integrated and include a number of other companies. Jesus III and Marble World have been active members of the Marble Institute of America for more than 50 years. Of his involvement in MIA, Monica Gowett, former MIA president, says this, I am not sure how many terms or years Jesus spent on the MIA board, but I do know that his passion, involvement, guidance, and support for MIA are unwavering. As a person who was newly elected on the board of the MIA in 1997, 
It was board members like Jesus who set the right tone for professionalism, realism, advocacy, and support so that the MIA could be the best association possible for the membership. Jesus is also a great family man. Jesus and his wife Adriana have four sons and 12 grandchildren. Together with his service to MIA and his outstanding career in the commercial stone business, he has earned MIA's most coveted prize, the McGlory Award for Lifetime Achievement. Please join us in congratulating Jesus Gonzalez III as the 11th recipient of the coveted MIA McGlory Award for Lifetime Achievement. I would like to thank you, to, to thank the nominating committee and all the MIA board, board members for considering me for this extraordinary award, named after my friend Vince, who I had the, the honor to serve on the board many years ago, and who I have always considered to be the master of the experts. With all due modesty, I feel very proud to accept this award. It really means a lot to me since I have devoted my entire life to operate in this industry. If stone could be liquefied, I am sure that I could have it running in my veins. This is how much I love this business. It is not my intention to take much of your time. I would like to just mention this to you. I must thank God for very especially, and, and very especially my guardian angel, my beloved wife of almost 53 years, and with who I have been in love for almost 60. Without her prayers, guidance, patience, and company, I wouldn't have had the energy to go through all the surgeries that have allowed me to be actively involved in helping our four sons run our companies, and at the same time, have a 22-member family living in harmony and respect. Again, in just six words, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> 